It's one of those things we sort of monitor. We're trying not to bother them too much, but on the same hand, you know, it's people are very concerned about them. So we're trying to do what we can. This, uh, these Atlantic white-sided dolphins are extremely social. Uh, so oftentimes, if there's one unhealthy animal, uh, they can lead them into uh, dangerous areas like this. So it's possible that the animal that was found dead on Friday uh, was the leader of the group, um, and uh, it ended up dying. So it's possible that they could have followed him or her in. Um, another possibility is that they chased food in. Uh, they often are a one-track mine once they're following a school of fish. Uh, so they could have followed the school of fish in, then weren't able to find their way out. Uh, another possibility is that uh, could have had some uh, navigational error. It's very hard to tell sort of exactly what they're doing, if they're feeding, if they're, um, you know, just sort of keeping around in this really deep part of the pool. Um, from what we saw today, I mean, the animals overall look to be in fairly good health. They're fairly plump. Um, the one thing with these animals is that even if they don't have access to food for a while, they do have a very nice blubber uh, layer that they will access if they do need to use those nutrients. Um, but we also did see quite a few fish in the area, so hopefully between sort of the natural resources that are there, the dolphins are at least getting some sustenance while they're in this rather uh, odd area for them.